Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for another Ninjago discussion video. A couple years back on his YouTube channel, Tommy and Drayson posted this video of the original Ninjago Season 1 snake concept, and this was apparently shown to some kids during the early development of the show. So I figured in this video we're just going to be talking about how this season drastically would have been different had this original concept been used, and my overall thoughts on it. The link to this video is down in the description below if you want to go there, and again it is on Tommy and Drayson's YouTube channel. But just to summarize what exactly happens and what exactly the original concept was, well it is obviously about the snakes, and back in the old days the snakes ruled Ninjago and worshipped this golden statue. The first Fujitsu master used flutes to lock them down in tombs, he used the serpentine staffs to seal the tombs and banish them to the underworld. There were four serpentine tombs, and peace returned. Now in the modern day, Garmanon is back and has a plan to unleash the snakes. He releases the first tomb, the Serpentine use their hypnotic powers to control entire villages, and the ninja must learn to fight with their eyes closed. Meanwhile, Garmanon gets the other three Serpentine staffs, and uses the staffs to reawaken the golden Serpentine statue, who transforms into this hideous monster with arms that are Serpentine. So Garmanon gets on the monster's head and starts to terrorize villages. However, the ninja get the four staffs, pointed at the serpent, and it is defeated, and it goes down into the underworld, taking Garmanon with it. But he will be back one day. Talking about what was kept the same in the final version, well, there were the serpentine staffs, which aren't really as important in the normal show. There was also the sacred flute, which the first Fujitsu master in this concept video used to banish the serpentine, very similar to what actually happened in the serpentine wars. The serpentine also have hypnotic powers in this concept, although in the final season only one of the tribes has the powers, but also the serpentine were locked in tombs too in both the final version and this concept version. Now instead of the Great Devourer, we have the Golden Serpent statue, which I think is honestly a lot cooler than the Great Devourer. I think this idea of the Serpentine worshipping this god and Garmanon seeking to pretty much bring it back to life is pretty awesome, and using the Serpentine staffs as well. I like the concept of the ninja having to learn to fight with their eyes closed, and that could make for some pretty cool battles. And Garmanon also plays a pretty big role too, so that's awesome. I again like the idea of the Golden Serpent statue, it seems cooler than the Great Devourer, and one thing I don't like though is how the ninja are forced to defeat this giant serpent simply by pointing the staffs at it. I mean that seems kind of underwhelming, very quick for a defeat, and that's kind of lame. Sending Garmadon back into the underworld again is kind of repetitive too. Now one big difference with how the Serpentine are portrayed, in this concept video they appear to be more savage people who obey Garmanon. However, in the real show, they are an intelligent race, and they have their own plans. They're not following any orders, they're not taking orders from another person who's not a Serpentine, so that is one major difference. The Serpentine staffs are also a lot more important in this concept. In the real show, they are the Anti-Venom, and they are used to create the map of Fangs. However, other than that, they don't really have that many powers. In this version, they are able to unleash the serpent statue, while also they are able to hypnotize human beings too. So yeah, the serpentine staffs are definitely of more emphasis in this concept. I don't dislike the idea of the serpentine being portrayed as a savage people. I mean, I think it would make sense, but I like how in the show they're portrayed as more organized and their own race with their own plans, so I like that a bit more. The big change is that Garmadon is the main villain of the season, whereas in the final version, he is an ally or anti-hero of sorts. But I love in the original, or final season I should say, how it sets up his role in season 2. Stealing the golden weapons and running off with them is a pretty ominous ending, and I think that's much better than him just getting sent to the underworld again. And of course, the Serpentine are different too, they don't really seem to have different tribes or different abilities in this concept season. I'm getting the feel that they all are able to hypnotize people, although I'm not entirely sure whether they were still in the five tribes. But in the end, I think the final season is better than this, although I still think had this original concept season been executed this way, it still would have been really cool. I still think the Serpentine would have been awesome, and you can't really go wrong with Garmanon being the main villain. And I also love the idea of the Golden Serpent statue, but I think in the original season the ending is definitely better, and the Serpentine are done a bit better too, being their own race and being intelligent. They aren't just taking orders from someone else, and they aren't just a savage people. But thanks for watching this video, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone ever you know, and let me know what you think of this concept season, and whether you like the final version or the original concept more. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you.